What's up, guys? I know I've been a little MIA on YouTube lately. Uh, been busy with some other things, including looks like a couple of new music projects coming up. So more on that later, but just wanted to do a, a, a quickie drum set tour because I got a few new pieces in anticipation of that. And then I'll give you an update on those things a little later. Uh, so as with you know, always, or as per usual, got the clear acrylic crush kit. And technically I'm rocking a five piece with this uh, little 14 inch floor tom over here. Remember that actually the center of your drum set is not the bass drum, but in fact is the snare drum. So it's good to have a snare drum right in the middle and to have a few pieces to your kit off to the left of the hi-hats and on the left side of the snare drum as well as to the right. Uh, seems like a lot of drummers favor that, that right side when it comes to things that are going on around the set. And that's due in part to the fact that most drummers can only play, uh, keep time right-handed, uh, but the more versatile you can be, uh, the more both hands can do, the better. Uh, so I trained myself to be play open-handed and I usually keep time on the hi-hats with my left hand. Uh, so it makes sense to have a few things going on on the left side of the, the set. Um, but yeah, uh, 12, so turn around, uh, 12 inch Tom. 14 over here, 16, and a 22 inch kick. Just recently picked up this beauty of a snare. It is the Copper Phonic by Ludwig, 14 by six and a half. And speaking of the hi-hats, those are the Zildjian K Fat Hats. Crispy, beautiful. Also recently got this K Zildjian Constantinople Ride, 22 inches. Super versatile. Uh, as with always, have the 19 inch K Custom Hybrid over here. 18 inch A custom projection crash to the left. Just kind of a cleaner sound than the washier, softer stuff that I have going on with the Ks. Kind of been favoring the softer symbols lately. Uh, Oriental trash splash, nine inches. And over here, the 18 inch Oriental FX China. I know a lot of people play the China inverted like this upside down. Sometimes I turn it right side up, but if I'm playing harder stuff, uh, which I anticipate doing a little more uh, coming up in at least one of these projects, then uh, I keep it upside down mainly so I don't damage the edge of the symbol. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my setup. Got all DW5000 hardware, um, pedals, including stands and, uh, rocking the Remo color tone drum heads on the toms and kick because it looks super cool with the acrylic set, especially on stage, um, with uh, stage lighting and all that. Playing a combination of 5B and, uh, dip sticks by Zildjian because uh, I like the grippiness of them. And also I play the anti-vibes as much as I can. It's just hard to find those in a 5B size. Uh, so I play some 5As sometimes, but the 5B really works a lot better for me as far as sticks, uh, stick size go. Uh, I got a couple of other snare options down there, both pork pies, a little curly maple on the bottom, 14 by 6, I believe, and then the uh, infamous 13 by 7 acrylic amber snare, pork pie, 
pie uh, makes great s stuff. I, I also have a uh, pearl piccolo snare, steel piccolo snare that I keep in Louisiana with my practice kit. Um, so this is my main kit. Hope you enjoyed the tour uh, here in Arizona. And uh, yeah, sounds great, looks great. No complaints, I'll be playing on this kit for a long time. Anyway, have a good day. Cheers.